Chavrim. I'm Stephen Ben Danoon with Danoon Institute of Biblical Research, a production of IsraelReturns.com. I am here at the very edge of Jaffa, or Joppa as it's known in the King James Bible. And uh, that's the city in the background that you're looking at. I'm on the southern end of Tel Aviv where Tel Aviv and Jaffa come together. Got here a little bit late. I was hoping to get here a little bit earlier because I'd like to film from the top up there at Jaffa for you. But it's a very interesting city. And for those of you that remember the story biblically, speaking of in the book of Acts, I believe it's around the 10th chapter. This is where Peter actually sees the vision of the sheet that's being let down. And as the sheet is let down, there's all manner of unclean beasts in it and creeping things. And the Lord says to him, Peter, rise up, kill and eat. Peter, being a devout Jew, though, who had kept kosher, said, Not so, Lord, for nothing unclean has ever come into my mouth. But the Lord said to him, Do not call that unclean, that which I've made clean. And the whole story began up in Caesarea. And actually, before this happened to Peter, earlier that day, around noontime, Cornelius, who was a faithful Gentile, who gave much to the poor and prayed constantly before the Lord. His prayers and his giving had come up before the Lord as memorial. And the angel of the Lord come down and met him and said to him, God had remembered his prayers and his giving that he had done. And so he said to him, there is a man by the name of Simon Peter that lives on the seaside in Joppa with one Simon the Tanner. He said, send for him, and he will tell you about the, the more excellent way, is what I would call it, and that was how to receive the Holy Ghost. In fact, he was the first Gentile to be a believer in Yeshua. And as we know the story, Simon sends down, or excuse me, Cornelius sends down to, to Peter, to, down to the, look for Simon the Tanner, and to uh, inquire of where was this man named Peter at? Where was he abiding at? And so he sends him down, or sends three of his own men down who were faithful stewards there, military men, from the Roman city of just north of here, Caesarea. And when he gets here, that's of course when the vision happens with Peter. And just as the vision was finishing for Peter, even at that very moment, those three men were there. And the Lord said, they're here, asking nothing, go with them. And we know the story. Peter goes up, and Cornelius is filled with the Spirit of God. It's an incredible, incredible story. It just reminds me of the hour we're living in now. Here we are, back in Israel, back in the homeland here. And yet, the Gospel of Yeshua has gone around and around the world for nearly 2,000 years. And the outpouring of the Spirit of God, the, the Eitz Chaim from the tree, of, the tree of Life from the Garden of Eden that was poured out, that was restored back to Israel originally, and then brought over to the Gentiles as well, fulfilling the promise that God made Abraham that you would be a father of many nations. Your name would no longer be called Avram, but Avraham, a father of many nations. And that's when the Gentiles came in. Now we're at the eve. In fact, it's interesting because the sun just set just a little bit ago. We're at the eve now of the gospel, coming back here to Israel, back home once again. And ironically, me and my wife were in a little place called Netanya, which is just south of Caesarea, looking at an apartment there to rent for a year so that we would have a place here, a place that we can begin to take the gospel and a place to, to where if you want to come and visit with us, we'd have a place to invite you to. Anyway, it's an exciting time here in Israel. A lot's happening. And we can't wait to show you more sites, preferably a little bit more in the daytime. So, I'm Stephen Ben Danoon with the Danoon Institute of Biblical Research production of Israel Returns. We love you, we thank you for you, and all that you guys do for us. God bless you. Good day. Erev Tov.